Today I rise to pay tribute to one of Australia's most treasured performers, Indigenous musician and songwriter Archie Roach. I just want to acknowledge the lovely tribute from a member opposite uh, uh, who had seen uh, Archie Roach many times. Colleagues on both sides have spoken about Archie's life and career, a survivor of the stolen generation who battled with both alcoholism and homelessness. Archie's was no easy life. Yet when he met the love of his life, Ruby Hunter, another child of the stolen generation, he said she changed his life forever. With Ruby by his side, Archie went on to write music that in turn changed the lives of Australians. Archie contributed his love of music to his foster family. He attributed his love of music to his foster family, the Coxes. And he used to flick through his foster father, Alex Cox's vinyl records. But it was his need for healing that inspired his deepest passion for music. It helped him heal from the trauma of his youth. If Roach's melodies came from a place of suffering, his lyrics gave voice to the thousands of Indigenous Australians who'd been removed from their families as part of the Stolen Generation. I was privileged to um, witness one of Archie's last performances at the Reconciliation Australia Governance Awards in June. It's actually the very first event I attended as the Shadow Minister for Indigenous Australians. And I want to thank um, Reconciliation Australia's CEO, Karen Mundine, for holding that memorable event and Andrew Meehan, both for his work in pulling the event together and um, his assistance in reminding me of some of the, the songs that Archie played that night. When Archie stepped forward to perform, it was clear he wasn't well. Uh, he took a while to start. He was dependent on the oxygen, uh, which had been uh, a feature of his life in recent years. But when he did start, the room had anticipated the music. They'd anticipated his voice with his deep soulfulness and the raspy voice and the simplicity of his profound lyrics was mesmerising. With a captive voice, Archie, with a captive audience, Archie performed three songs from his repertoire. One song, Small Child and The Old Mission Road. The Old Mission Road touched me deeply, it touched me here. It's, it's a blues song about losing your parents. Seeing him as sick as he was, singing the song evocative of the pain and loss of a member of the stolen generation really got to me. And the words would move anyone who had experience of the loss of a parent. If I can take the indulgence of the house, I'd like to take a moment to read the lyrics for the benefit of the house. Oh, I wish I had grown with my mother back home, because I miss her sweet kisses and her smile. And when I'm alone, I wish I had known my mother for just a while. Won't you walk with me, darling, just a couple of miles? Won't you tell me the stories of when I was a child? I'd be so happy as the stories unfold. Won't you walk with me, darling, down that old mission road? Oh, I wish I'd gone fishing with my father I'm still missing and the touch of his strong, gentle hands. Now I'm gone from the mission because someone's decision kept me away from that man. Won't you walk with me, darling, just for a couple of miles? Won't you tell me the stories of when I was a child? I'd be so happy as the stories unfold. Won't you walk with me, darling, down that old mission road? So kiss your mother goodnight, hold your father tight and keep your family near or else one day they might slowly fade out of sight just reflections in those tears. Won't you walk with me, darling, just a couple of miles? Won't you tell me the stories of when I was a child? I'd be so happy as the stories unfold. Won't you walk with me, darling, down that old mission road? I extend my deepest condolences to the Roach family, to Archie's two sons, Amos and Eben, to Archie's three foster kids, Chris, Arthur and Terence. May his memory be a blessing. Australians will continue to be inspired by Archie Roach's musical legacy for generations to come.